as we are now aware of how to fetch the values from the data table, now let's look at how to enter the data into this particular fields. As we can see, as we click on submit, the positions of this particular fields are changing. Okay, to handle this earlier, we were simply able to drag and drop an activity called type into and we are able to indicate that particular thing on screen and we were able to perform the operation but right now let's look at the differences here is a tool which comes along with UI path called UI Explorer I am just clicking on that Just taking up some time. Yeah, it's there. So, whenever I just indicate some element over here, let's say last name. Okay. This is the selector that has been generated for that. I'm copying this in a notepad okay this for the last name again if I just indicate um, clicking F2 to pause it and clicking on submit this time my last name is available again clicking F2 yeah here so here is my field I'm clicking here and this is the selector that I have got I'm selecting this and pasting right here so see for every time we submit it there is a new selector that is being generated okay if I just use the same approach that we have used earlier indicate on screen and go ahead it will fail to enter the second record because the selector is changing how to handle that easy what we can do is we can use this particular UI Explorer and I can indicate this particular last name field okay and using the indicate anchor anchor is a concept used when we have something where we have to enter and that is not stable or it is dynamic but we have something else related to it which is stable so right here if I just click on indicate anchor these labels are available here last name phone number company name they have a unique ID to them so I can refer last name here so this is a particular selector that has been generated I'm taking off this particular ID from here because this is not unique you can just uncheck this and it has gone this is the selector that will work for us I'll copy this and I will pass this particular selector over here okay that's great type into this is last name and as we have seen to fetch the last name we have to use row of last name this is the last name see it is an object you have to convert this particular value into string for that you can just click dot to string so here is the value you can select it and there is no more available fine so this were the input files 
so we will just clear up some unnecessary activities here because we were able to clarify that we were able to fetch the data I'm deleting this it is no more required I'm deleting this let's delete all this because it was showing the data I have deleted all this okay we are left with only type into last name I'm saving this project let me run it once I'm closing this let me run this once it is launching the website it is entering the last name oh this is because we were not clicking the submit button let's do that use click activity indicate on screen and click select submit because submit is not dynamic you can directly do it through your activity itself there's no need for you to go to UI Explorer and modify or fine-tune it fine let's run it once again run last name so this time it is able to enter it into the correct field so this is how it works and this is how we have to handle the dynamic selectors with the use of anchor concept similarly we have to do the same thing for every field available over there I have to drag type into and then the same I have to go to this uh, let me click on this and I have to indicate it on the screen where is the first name here so this is the first name for which there is an anchor available this first name label and I have to take off this particular ID from that so this is my selector I have to go I have to go to this particular type into property I have to paste that particular selector over here so it's there I have to pass the row value open the brackets pass first name if you're confused are you if you just want to eliminate the mistakes what you can do is go to this particular project open this file copy the exact column name so that we can just avoid the mistakes that can occur I'm trying to paste this right here and then converting this particular thing to string and this is our first name similarly you can do it for all those available fields start doing it